Welcome back from that short break and this is News Tonight here on UBC TV. On sign language it is Elizabeth Nakakoni and I am Edward Rukidi Kijanangoma. Let's have a look now at what's happening in the world of business and we begin of course with uh, um, arcade owners uh, and shopping malls are not in agreement uh, with the proposal uh, by the tenants uh, seeking to waive rent arrears for the three months uh, the buildings have been closed due to the lockdown uh, over COVID-19 pandemic. In April, President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni warned landlords against evicting tenants who failed to pay their monthly dues as the country uh, grapples with the fight against COVID-19. Sandra Kahunde Agaba gives us more. a challenge and the president said we are in war if you remember his statement in war meaning you benefit and you lose so i call upon because this is a big issue because we also understand building those buildings are build they have to get loans but also us now where do you expect us to get that money from because we we come into the premises we are, we are coming to pay rent but there's no value for money i pay you for what when i do not work we are still also disturbed why some offices are open, others are closed, and it becomes a real problem for, for those who are still seated at home because their friends are working, then others are not working. But uh, even those who are working, again, they have challenges. Purchasing power is still down. The borders are still closed. And the sourcing of new merchandise is also a very big problem because when we don't have uh, people or maybe the movement is limited, people can't travel, it becomes a very big problem. The relationship of landlord and tenant for rent falling due and at the time of the distress being levied is required for distress to be available as a remedy. This means that a landlord cannot distrain before the relationship of landlord and tenant is complete or after the lease has terminated and the relationship is at an end. Kampala City Traders Association has petitioned government and landlords through the National Task Force on COVID-19 seeking insurvation over rent. Alternative one which we gave them was why now that uh, we have got some money which has come from international community like IMF, European Union, why don't you get a portion of it, clear the landlords and the tenants don't pay? Because this period of, uh, of uh, lockdown, there is nothing they were working, they were not working and therefore there is no way they can pay. That was option one. Option two, was uh, for governments maybe to use the rental income tax, relieve the landlords so that they don't pay the rental income tax, and what they should have paid is actually passed over to the tenants who never work. The landlord must retain title, and the tenant must still be in possession of the premises when the entry occurs. This common law remedy is provided for in Uganda under the Distress for Rent, Act 18, and the Distress for Rent Acts. Due to the gaps in the law and lack of awareness or sensitization, most landlords downtown in the business district of Kampala do not implement the Act and have relied on very harsh measures to demand for rent arrears from their tenants, such as locking up the premises without proper notice to the tenants. This has brought discord among the tenants. Well, before the pandemic, you could walk along the streets and you can tell the business is booming and it was a busy city. But as we all continue to experience this particular crisis, not even knowing when it will come to an end, the traders, vendors and many shopper tenants haven't given up. They still trek to town thinking of a way to survive. Awan Kashagama is thinking of joining the music industry as well as farming. These traders want government to ensure a middle ground is reached between tenants and landlords on rental arrears accumulated during the lockdown period. 
president Museveni atutademu obaba obaba akanya ne bigwa na yenga tv na gwa kubanga ebizimbe kuyingiramu bagamba kaledi bebange wedde ko kuyingira tuyingira nachi tuyingira na receipt mugundi aba aba kedibetu bagamba saba government wachi batunyigire mo ko kubizimbe byafe batugulewo batugulewo ne nakarenti bakatusonyuwemo no batusonyi batuwe mkataka kaka free kaka ka holiday anze so akudira mu byo kuyimba byo ka business webe ganye eno eno bwegana ze mfata kati farm kati ze nyina de farm nyina nyinente ndunda ne nobumyu nde byenyanja ekira ekira nyina ye byenyanja bidya byenyanja so gamaze situnulira siri bayimbi bano bomuloza batunda music yoka ze tunula bintu binji okulaba ne bisaungazo omuntu ushitegera i've been affected also in that because of my restaurants are in arcades and the arcades have not been opened and the president said the restaurants should be open. You see two con contradicting things. A restaurant should be opened, but now it's in an arcade. Arcades are not to be opened. So we end up not working. The act is silent on the procedure for dealing with the goods distressed after seizure. There is also excessive power when executing and high hardness of bailiffs during the process of distress for rent. Sandra Kahundagaba, UBC.